Hi everyone, this is Samba Remedium and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, last time, well, I beat the Bird Divine Beast dungeon. I did a few uh, shrines and now, well, I need to figure out what I want to do. So one thing I want to do is retry one of the shrines I couldn't do before and that I think I can do now, which is the Modest Test of Strength. I think I can do that. So we're back here, which has been a big while. And close to here, there's another shrine that I haven't done, which is this one down there, but that's a major test of strength, so I'm not doing that one. All right, let's get to it. Uh, first, I need to check my equipment. Okay, seems good. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. Hello there. Damn, I haven't managed to put a hit on him. That should help. Hmm, maybe I should use that one, which has electricity. Alright, that did something. But I don't have a Thunder Spear anymore. Well, I'll take that. That worked. Oh, it never stops? Well, that's bad. Shoot. Oh, I need to hit it a little more. There. <sighs> wow, that was tough. Even at the end, uh, I could have died. So yeah, I'm definitely not doing the major test of strength. <laughs> What's in the box? A knight's bow. Okay, so not super crazy, but I... I will take the orb, though. Alright. Uh, where should I go next? Uh, you know what? I've never visited that part of the map which is actually pretty close to the start. So I'm just gonna go there. Is it cold? Well, not really. Despite the snow. I do not remember this place at all. Okay, so there's this tower I need to go towards. Oh, I am freezing. Okay. There. I'm not scared of the cold anymore. Um, so there's a shrine on my way. The Gino Shrine? On the move. Right. Mm, okay, so that's what I need to open. Um, should I use Stasis? And maybe... Oh, I can't. Okay, so what do I do now? Nope. So I can stop the ball from moving, but I can't make it go... Oh, or with the bow? Can I stop the ball itself? Wow. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. There. And then... Just shoot it. Oh, works, but I've sent it too far. And I'm going to run out of arrows too, so I need to be careful. Let's just try one shot. Yay, that worked. <laughs> is 
Is there more? Oh, hi. Wow. I have only two arrows to do that. Oh, and I just threw one out of the... Hmm. Okay, so... Let's try this. What are you doing? I think I had worked anyway, but I don't know why this guy was moving. Oh, something's happening there. Okay, boy. Mm, okay, there's a ball here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. And blocks. Oh, wait. Shoot. Oh, well. Did I miss the treasure chest? Oh. Okay, I had made it. Oh, the treasure chest back. Okay, how would I grab it? Just like that. So let's not put it on the... What's happening? As I was saying, let's put it on somewhere that doesn't move. Ah, just a noble. Oh, and I should have taken that. I'm a bit stupid sometimes. Just have to wait for a big block to come up over there. Like this one. Oh, wait. Oh. This one's the other way around. How do I do that? Can I use the treasure chest? No, I won't be able to. There's nowhere to place it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I want to throw it. Nah, that's gonna be awful. Oh, I can stasis the laser? I can. Okay, come on. And now I just have to oop, wait. All right, now's my chance. Yes. Whew. That worked. Wasn't that complicated? And I think that's the end. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Oh, weather is better. And now I can go and get a new piece of heart. Oh, and it's getting warm. I need to remove my gear and I can actually wear better armor. Yeah, I'm actually almost too warm. Is that gonna be a problem? That must be a Korok. Yup. Okay, so can I go on that little path? Just like that. Yeah, that worked. Um, I'm not sure I could go that higher up. But I'll try. What's that path for? Who put it here? Oh, what's that? Some sort of pot. Okay, I can probably climb around here. And there are ladders here, so that should make it easier. Not sure whose place that is. Oh, wrong side of the ladder. That's a lot better. I want to go through that thing. It seems really weird. Or designed for a purpose. Oh. Well, there's no ladder to go there. Weird. Oh, there was a platform. I didn't see it. I'm really blind sometimes. Okay. Um, I don't see what would be the goal of being here. Very weird. Anyway, 
Still on my way to the tower. Ooh, what's that in the distance? Oh, it's another beast. What is it supposed to be? Some sort of camel? Hmm. That might be a place I want to go to then, but still want to go to the tower next. I'm kind of close to it. Oh. There is tar around it? Um, well, I can probably go from... Well, except the wind is on the right, the wrong direction here. Uh, let's try and see... Yeah. So what if I go on the other side of the tower? Will the wind push me in the correct direction? Oh, I could use those metal crates, actually. But there's a few below the water, too. Cool. And now can I fly there? I sure can. That was a weird one. Not really a tough one, though. So uh, let's activate this thing. Alright, and where would I want to go from here? There's this place. Hopefully it won't get warmer. Ooh. There's winds though, and I, I saw this thing. Would there be something here? Hmm, something t tells me it's a Korok. Where should I put this? Mm, let's try here. Okay, maybe I, I'm getting that wrong. Oh, maybe that's a Korok. <laughs> this one I got. So I don't know what the winds are going to do for me here, or against me. But I'll try. Oh, there's this place with giant statues. Seems like a very interesting place. What is going on around here? Oh, I see something glowing. Oh, there's plenty of things glowing, actually. East Gerudo Runes. So is there something interesting to do here? Or... I mean, there's this thing. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can move it with my... Uh-oh, temperature is getting high. Uh, can I get in the shadow? I think I'm in the shadow, I'm fine. Oh, that's the thing. I need to bring all those down. What did I do with the one that I had? Did I leave it in place? Oh, shadow is leaving. And it's in the morning, so I won't have shadow at all. Let's stay in the shadow and try and do stuff. I guess it'll be easier if I wait for night. Except there might be enemies. Okay, it's cooling down. I think I can't even stand in the sun. Yeah. Oh. oh, wait, I'm noticing they have symbols. So do I need to put the correct ball? Oh, I almost hit myself with that in the correct place. How do I know the symbols, though? Oh, those metallic things. I've seen them at multiple places on the statues. That's going to be annoying. Well... More complicated than I thought. So this one, I don't know what it is. Oh, and I left the ball stuck in his arms there. Ah, I need to climb. Oh, it's gonna get cold. Makes sense in the desert to be super cold at night and super warm at day. Against cold, I am prepared. So that's not too bad. If it gets colder. Oh, hey. There's even Koroks on those statues. Oh. There's a memory there. Is it the place where I wanted to go? Yeah, okay. Just didn't recognize it from afar. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's why it's stuck. Wait, that's the balloon. And this one is the double dots. 
Okay, that was just a Korok. Oh, and the sun is coming back. Shoot. Oh, and that's it. It's gonna be a shrine, right? Yeah. I've worked a lot for this one. But it'll make a nice spot to teleport to. All right, let's go in. Uh, oh, nothing. There's nothing to do here. It's just... I just have to finish it. Okay, so the main trial was putting those balls into place. Ooh, a flame spear this time. I've got plenty of flame stuff. Not even sure what they're good against. Uh, ice creatures? The problem now is that it's day. I won't be able to travel in the desert. I'm gonna cook if I uh, step out of the shadow. Uh, what if I don't wear clothes? Mm, doesn't change anything. I thought maybe I would be able to sustain more heat. Apparently not. Okay, so I want to go there. But there's a whole lot of uh, desert I need to cross. That's a place to. Hmm. Maybe while waiting for the night to come back, I should go there. Oh. Are you uh, a merchant or someone who's going to attack me? <laughs> Let's just ignore him. Actually, if he has stuff to sell to protect from heat, that might be interesting. Hey. They sure make these Gerudo ladies tall, don't they? What a bunch of buttes. Now, if, it, if they just let me move into Gerudo town... Emporium is open. Come one, come all. All the little bits and bobs you need to spice up your dishes. Ah, what have you got? You've got arrows. Not super interesting stuff other than that. Bye. So do you come from the Gerudo village? If they don't let him come in, maybe uh, they won't let me come in. Gerudo Desert Gateway. And there's another guy. Anyone needs some bugs? Oh, not really. Oh, there's a stable. Judging by the music around here. Oh yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hey, uh, Cass. Good to see you again. I trust you're keeping well. You've come quite some distance. Even I, blessed with the gift of flight, struggled a bit to make it here. My teacher was the court poet in the employ of Hyrulean royal family. One hundred years ago, he came face to face with the calamity at Hyrule Castle, and was forced to flee. It was a perilous journey, very different from my own travels, I imagine. Danger was his constant companion. Anyway, I should return to my task. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, thank you. Also, I need to put back clothes on. Oh. Well, I know where you're gonna tell me. A canyon painstakingly carved out by the mighty winds over countless years. What a magnificent sight to behold. Hey, we meet again. Are you, yeah, that part I know. You always say, say the same. Oh, isn't uh, this the Carab Carabazar? It's an oasis just outside Gerudo town. If you head southwest from here, you can't miss it. Yeah. It's a great place, just brimming with an exotic atmosphere. It's certainly worth visiting at least once in your life. 
Well, I probably already did, but I forgot. Okay, you have a mission. Hey, did you happen to see any of my friends? There are four travelers named Olive, Flaxel, Canolo, and Palmer. I don't know. We were all walking together when some monster suddenly jumped us near the Kuko Plateau path. I took off running and I didn't stop until I got here. I thought my friends were right behind me, but when I turned around they were nowhere to be found. I don't think the monsters could have... No, they're fine. They'll be back any second now. Hey, if you happen to run into any of them, uh, please let me know... Let them know Sesame is waiting for them here. Sure. How are you? Body, got any rush rooms? Yeah, I've got actually. See, uh, I'm tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. I first tried rush rooms when I was five years old. Ooh. <laughs> and come to think of it, I ate them every day since without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran thanks to those things. Cut to 55 years later. I can ba barely drag these bones off the ground without those rush rooms. But no matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get up the cliffs to pick mushrooms where they grow. That's why I'm letting an able-bodied swords know that I'm in the market for them. I'll give a diamond for 55 oh, 55. That's worth the effort, right? If you want to do business, just come talk to me. Oh, I'm always here. How many do I have? <laughs> I've got only five. I must have sold some of them. Well, I have to remember to collect rush rooms and keep them. Well, there were four of them up here. And the Korog. Oh, and I can cook at the camp. I'm not thinking. There's actually a lot of rush rooms around here. Not sure there's 55. Well, almost sure there's not. But there might be enough to... Um, get closer to that number. Oh, hey, Beetle. Oh, he's just giving me something. Ancient arrow. Cool. Yeah, I'm not buying you stuff. But I'll be cooking. So, let's try and make things to cool me down. Okay, let's see how much money I can make with that. Okay. I've got a little money. Oh, and I could buy arrows to the person with the donkey over there. And then I'll have to head for the oasis. It's gonna be cooler. Oh, I thought you had arrows. Oh no, it was the other guy that was alone. Hmm. Well, if ever I stumble on him again. Also, I should probably take my horse. Oh, well, that pony even be able to go down here? Yeah. No? No. Oh, I can't take the horse in the desert. Oh, that's annoying. So there's still sun, but it's cooler, so I can go to the oasis. Hmm, you look like our, your everyday traveler, but how can I be sure? Don't tell anyone, but I'm no merchant. I'm a Gerudo town soldier in disguise. In disguise, with the shield and all. Ever he heard of the Yige clan? They're a group of thieving bandits who have caused all sorts of trouble back in town. I got a tip that some of them go incognito as travelers to ambush the unwary. That's why I'm dressed as a simple merchant. My mission is to blend in and stay on guard in case they strike. They were bold enough to strike at Gerudo town, so I wouldn't be shocked if they struck at travelers too. Yeah, I've met a few of them. Nah, I thought maybe calling Epona once I was in the desert would work, but nope. It's probably designed so you can't use your horse in here. I think I'm hearing water. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I killed this guy. Ah. 
I'm gonna need to eat. Oh, and I'm cold. Ah, uh, he's not dead yet. Well, now he is. There you go. You're the one who was selling arrows, so uh, let me go and talk to you. Okay, now let's go to that oasis. Uh oh. Oh, that's the divine beast. It's a bit dusty over there. Oh, very weird. And there's a uh, light lightning around the, it. <laughs> That's a weird one. Well, not that the other ones aren't weird. Weren't. Nothing unusual here. The Kara Kara Bazaar. Okay, where was the picture taken? Mm, here. What's after her? Oh! Yige clan! Is this when she understood she needed uh, a guard? That's a very brief one, but... So how much left do I need to find? One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got most of them, that's cool. Okay, let's visit this little place. Uh, oh, there's a Goron. I'll let you sleep. I'll wake you up when day comes. Oh, hey. Oh, he's sleeping too. Everybody's sleeping. Oh, you're not supposed to be asleep? It says talk. Boss. Okay. That was a very interesting conversation. How about you? Tomorrow will be the day I see this sandstorm swirl to her halt. I just know it. No, wouldn't you need to stop the beast for that? Okay, that's all there is for now. Oh, there's a treasure chest in the middle of the lake though. Money. And that's a store. You have clothes. Let's talk. Sav Sabah. That divine beast, it feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. I wonder how long it will before I can set back to Gerudo town. There's a town of, to the southwest made up almost entirely of Gerudo. It's the largest settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active from morning to night. But, well, they have a rule that'll affect you. Guys aren't allowed in. No vo may enter, they say. Hmm. What could you say about the Divine Beast? When I say Divine Beast, I'm talking about that giant thing roaming about the desert. It's been kicking up bad sandstorms, and apparently it'll blast you in with lightning if you get too close. Oh. <laughs> the thought of getting zapped is terrifying. I can't risk traveling to Gerudo Town. Okay. 
Ah, uh, we've lost a lot of business ever since that divine beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the divine beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Uh, no. Oh, I could climb the rock. Not sure what's going to be up there, but... Is that Gerudo Town? That must be Gerudo Town. Maybe I'll have to go there next. I'll figure out a way of going in. Hey, I saw you waking up. Hi. Oh, you're just traveling? Good morning. I heard the sandstorm dies down from time to time. And I really want to figure out why and when. Okay, that's all you're gonna say? That was worth waiting for you to wake up. How about you? You're not awakened yet. This guy is a little more awoken. Hey, um, you're a traveler. Oh, I see. Well, we're merchants. We wanted to make it to Gerudo Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women into that town, and to think we came all the way out here. Our leader went to Gerudo Town to try to figure out how we can get inside. But he hasn't come back yet. I imagine his, he isn't having a ton of luck. Well, I have to disguise myself uh, as a woman like Cloud in Final Fantasy VII. That sandstorm. They say it stops for a few hours a day, but it hasn't let up even a little since I've been watching. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been here for days waiting for the storm to settle down, so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. It's probably a shrine. Wait, who did you say you are again? Okay, I think the bird is uh, awoken. What am I going to do? Good morning. Though, it's Sab Ota in Gerudo, isn't it? But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito village. I've been there. Ah, it must have felt quite cold to you, didn't it? I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito village to try to earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day, it's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Gerudo town looks like even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I think I've made some. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. Oh, you don't want any? Oh, could it be? Oh yeah, okay. Here's an elixir. Thank you. I can get across the desert while it still lights out. Here, let me give you something in return. Okay. By the way, in Gerudo, thank you is Sarxo. Sarxo. <laughs> right. Uh, and I could actually use that food if I want to go to the Gerudo village, which I'm gonna try. Okay, so there's something here. Let's see what's that about. Is that an enemy I see? Oh yeah, there's enemies around here. Maybe... Uh-oh, it found me. Not really. That was weird. But it had... Bomb arrows? Uh-oh, I'm overheating. Okay, I need to eat. Those things that protects me from the heat. Oh, I've been spotted. Take that. Well, I can probably take them. So let's do that. Shoot, missed him. Oh, and there's a treasure. More money. 
Awesome. Let's go and kill the other two. All right. Okay, let's go to the the, the village. There's a shrine there, so that's something interesting at least, even oh, if I can't go inside the village. Oh, there's someone next to that. Deco Shisei Shrine. What's the deal? Oh, I was so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? What? No, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. Oh, you're the boss of those two guys. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, um... Are you spying? It's research. Research. And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo town. What info? <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo town. I've been waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. Okay, so I'll have to find him too, I suppose. But first I have seven seconds to enter here. <laughs> the whole picture. <laughs> okay. That's electricity. Okay, so there's weird things. Oh, can I move that to make connections? Sure, that's the idea. Yeah. And I want to activate everything. Oh, I want to access there first. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Um... <laughs> okay, it might not be that easy. I need to figure out which door I want to open first, so there would be this one that's useful. Oh, and I can definitely do that with what I have. There we go. So now I have one more element. There. So I can get to the treasure chest. Actually, could I use the treasure chest as a something? Uh, probably. Yep, the treasure chest does something. Cool. There we go. And now with all of that... Yep. All right, that's done. Oh. Oh no, I thought it was a treasure chest. Psh. How warm is it? Oh, it's closer to the night, so fine. Um, how am I going to find his body? Maybe I should travel back and forth until I find this guy. Um, what about that? Saba -saba. Saba -saba. Oh, well, don't tell me you crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sink into the sand. It's common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. My name is Frelly. I run a shop in Gerudo town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. If you need to know anything about sand seals, I should be your first stop. Not sure I need that. <laughs> yeah, now she's telling me I can't go inside the town to rent one, so... Let's try entering and see what they say. <laughs> Whoa. Freeze. 
Where do you think you're going? Not into town, that's for sure. No vow allowed. Off with you. Okay. That person running. Well, she definitely looks like a Gerudo, but maybe that's the thing. Disguising yourself as one. Hey! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, it's a foe. You can handle this. Deep breaths. Kyra, remember your training. First, you greet the foe like anyone else. <laughs> Sava Sav. N nice to meet you. I'm Kyra from the, the, the uh, from the Gerudo. <laughs> I'm wandering the world, learning what I can, and seeking my dreams. And I can tell just from looking at you, you have a place in my dreams, don't you? Did we meet for a reason? Ah, uh, just a guy taking a walk. Oh, is that how it's going to be? Oh. Let's try that again. Oh, she's not happy. Can I do this? Nah, that's not gonna work. Couldn't I climb the wall? Well, that works. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I would maybe go to jail. Whoa, oh, forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerido Low. Do you understand? <laughs> Never come back. <laughs> okay, you've got good alarms. I don't know how you spotted me once I was up there. Who's that? Oh, it's just a guy. Saw me running around, huh? See, I heard Gerudo woman liked a guy in sand boots, so I've been jogging all over forever trying to show off. But none of them will talk to me. I'm just starting to wonder if that rumor was just a bunch of bunk. Sand boots let you walk normally on sand, so if you like the desert, believe me, you want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, which means they're impossibly rare and extremely valuable. Why do you think? Jealous, right? Give me those boots. <laughs> huh? You're coveting these things after you heard me sing their praises? Not cool. Look, these sand boots are super rare. Maybe I'd consider giving them to you if you were a girl. But a guy? No. I'm busy here, get lost. What about if I talk to you about your boss? Hmm, I can't talk to them about it. What? There's a man who got into Gerudo town? And the boss says he comes here to the Kara Kara Bazaar? Guess it must be true if the boss said so. But I've never seen anyone around here who strikes me as a super sneaky guy. There was that pretty Hillian gal at the general's tour. It's unusual to see a Hillian girl dressed like a Gerudo. Okay. Her Gerudo clothes, I wonder where she bought them. Maybe if I wore those clothes. Ah, nah. I'm so out of my element with this sneaky stuff. Alright, that's interesting. Just hope they're not gonna ask for money, because I don't have that much. Is that her? No. Uh, I can't find her. Weird. Oh, there she is. Ha. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something about her. <laughs> oh my. What a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? What's that? You've heard about a man who's stuck into Gerudo town? Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. 
Uh, which one? Squint suspiciously. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're a man. Oh my. You sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off then. Come on. Do I need to be... You're very beautiful. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this tile would look quite fetching on you. Oh. Wait, does he have a beard? <laughs> I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600? I don't have it. I guess I'll have to sell stuff. Is it going to change my skin color too? Because I mean... A bit pale for a Gerudo. I'll take them. It's a deal then. I'll take your rupees now. <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. I don't trust that. But I'm still pale as uh, an esper. <laughs> <laughs> you look adorable. And uh, <laughs> just as I thought, you make for quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect you're a man. <sighs> On top of that, it breathes so well that it, it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. Oh, that's cool. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. What's he gonna look like? Oh, we don't see. Ha! Make sure you watch out for the wind. Oh. Is that a thing? If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Whoa. So cute. Oh my, please excuse my rudeness. Are you all by yourself self in a place like this? The desert is quite dangerous, you know. If you feel even the slightest twinge of fear, you can count on me to help, okay? <laughs> sure. I'm actually gonna be cold here. Oh, and I'd like to get the sand boots. So yeah, hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way too. So you're out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me a while? Nice sand jogging. <laughs> ah, you, notice, you notice these old things. Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh well, here's the thing, these sand boots are super rare and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. Oh, come on. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, but... You hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of 8th heroine? What? Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth one. Wiped clean of history and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine known to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend... I was a child. Find her. Show me the eighth heroine and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. I bet it has to do with the statues I saw earlier. She's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. 
they have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Okay. And he gave me snow boots. <laughs> well, that's something at least. Many have investigated the eighth heroine, but it's an inscrutable legend, an unsolved and possibly unsolved herbal puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her wheels on it, it will grow closer and closer, and then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, eek! That lovely young lady is just my type. Still spying? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm, I'm just investigating. Hmm, this in exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. Really? And it was as easy as that. I guess if I remove... Wait, 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 wait. Are you a lady, Goron? Uh, Sava Sava? Sava Sota? Anyway, good evening. Gerudo worlds are really hard to remember. I think Sav is part of half of them. But there's some starting with V. How did you get in? Okay, so what is there in here that could be super interesting? Well, there's a mission here. Sava Saba. Saba Saba. Great, you got the last of my free time with that greeting. What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need it to make my items. If only I had ten. Just ten. If some kind of Vi could give me ten pe pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. Okay, that seems interesting. So I need flint. What's happening there? I don't even want to know. What's the password? I don't know. Okay, I need a password here. Oh, she knows I'm a vogue. Surprised, you might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry though, it doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat. And chat. Ever left the town? Ho oh. oh, ho, I may not look like it now, but I was quite a traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty too. It was a rare thing from a vo for a Vo not to notice me coming into a room. But I had a fairy tale n notion in my mind. I'd heard of the lover's pond and I thought I'd meet my true love there. Oh, I've been there. I traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The vow no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago and I changed my dreams. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with a foe again. Will you humor me a bit longer? I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, let's get a new piece of heart. Awesome. Uh, maybe I should go here? Wow, it's so bright. Who are you? What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy ga gathering information. Information? Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. No way, you've never heard of Rumor Meal either? Oh yeah, I've read some of them. Phew, thank goodness. If you told me you never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Okay. I know, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more with conviction. Truth is, I... 
Trizy herself from Rumamia? What happened? I suppose that works. Oh, I was supposed to have a reaction. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Sure. Ooh. Uh, that's a bit scary. <laughs> Wait. The queen is tiny. Riju. Gerudo chief. Chief, not queen. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, she knows. Right. Seems you have something rather interesting there. The shaky slate. You stand before Lady Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Puliyara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? <laughs> it's an <inkhead. laughs> Link, and what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm Naboris. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were the champions like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in a calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. Bodiara, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories not also say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? Yeah, I haven't found that yet. I see no such weapon in this person's care. I do indeed. If I recall correctly, it was called the sword that seals the darkness. The princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the Lost Woods. Okay. I have to find those lo Lost Woods. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be precious relic from the Shaker. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champion. Wait a moment, you're a Vaux. <laughs> a Vaux with it on walls is a great crime, but a Vaux who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. You saw it on your way to our town. Divine Beast Van Naboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm hurling lightning at any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove... Oops is worth. Ah, yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning of Naboris. The Thunder Helm. Oh, I already have that. A family heirloom and relic from the Gerudo. But as Bur Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks, then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Nabaris. 
Hey, you know. I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Um, the question is, do I need to be still wearing that outfit? I'm not going to try changing. Uh, okay, let's see. What is that on the blackboard? <laughs> Oh, are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Sure. Okay, oh. Savota. I, I finally found the Vo of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness. But then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the innards of a Moldoga. But I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they have no time to my, for my plight. They turned me away. But then why wouldn't they? The mole Dugga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. So what is a mole Dugga? It's a monster. A terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. Something's been spotted west of here, in the Toruma Dunes, and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibration, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even move near it, and you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Fly to him, I guess. Are you the captain? What are you doing in here? This is the barracks of the chief's guard, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. What? Boliara sent you? My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's hell room was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yuge clan. The other day, so everyone is on edge. We've determined that the Yuga's hideout is Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Ah. Hey everyone, listen up! This Helian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troop will be happy to help. All right. Okay, I have to go there. Guess I'll do that. Not sure I'll have the time today, though. There's a treasure chest. Oh. Oh. <sighs> that scared me. It was just a mimic. Am I trying to follow those statues? I think I am. It's kind of pointing towards the right direction. Oh, it's even warmer here, even with my clothes. Oh, and now there's sandstorms. I don't have a map anymore. I guess I will try to follow those statues. Oh, it's a shrine. That's not where I was trying to go. Well, I, I mean, I'll go in the shrine. It's just not really where I was trying to go. A delayed puzzle. What's happening there? Okay, there's a ball jumping from side to side. Uh, there's this thing. 
that doesn't blow up. So since there's some kind of pedestal here, am I supposed to just stop the ball when it crosses? Like that? Maybe let's divert it. There we go. Oh, I can move it with my magnet. So what happens? If those touch, something happens. Okay, but what about there? Oh. There's one of those switches there. There we go. A Moon Knight Scimitar. That was a weird one. Oh, there's no sandstorm anymore. That's cool. So I'll just have to aim for there and go there. But I am not going to do that in that episode because I've done a lot already. So I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And for now, well, goodbye. I didn't know that was a thing, but... Uh... <laughs>